Hey YouTube, so I got a different kind of test for you today. We're gonna check out how far will it kill. I got the idea from Iraqi veteran 8888. He's done a series of videos with firearms and wood. So just have the two boards propped up next to the sawhorse. And I think with the guns I'm gonna be doing this with, these are all 22 caliber, that the solid wood board is, we're not gonna even penetrate it. Give you a close up of what I'm shooting. Okay, so what I'm going to use for my testing material to shoot into is your typical surveyor's lath. You see these on the side of the road with construction projects. You can buy a bundle of them, bundle of them at the hardware store. So anyway, it's a quarter inch thick, and I think this is a more accurate representation of for shoot, you know, for penetration, um, killing power. For the typical things that we shoot with air guns as opposed to using solid piece of wood which you know it's got a knot in it obviously that's going to be a lot tougher um and then uh, from what i was reading you know the standard test is supposed to be a half inch pine board and all i can ever seem to find is this one's like more like five eighths i'm gonna shoot it anyway but i don't see the pellet 22 caliber pellet penetrating this at 50 feet. So let's go find out. First off, we're going to use the Crossman Drifter. I'll do eight pump or I'll do 10 pumps full power. Next, we'll do the Crossman 362. Eight pumps is full power, and then finally we'll do the RWS Model 34. I'm going to use Crossman Premiers, uh, 22 caliber dome pellets. See how these work out. Okay, so we've got the lath set up and i'm aiming towards the middle one with the drifter here we go oh <laughs> well i can't believe how far off i am i really hate to say i was aiming towards the middle because look at how far off i was okay this isn't particularly surprising punched right through the quarter inch wood you, you kill squirrels from 50 feet with the 22 caliber pellet gun that's not a real shock okay next we're going to shoot the solid uh pine board that's to the right of the lath i'll be shocked if it went through and there we go it didn't even go through this board so maybe shoot maybe i'll so i'm not going to shoot these with the two more powerful guns we already know they're going to go through maybe i'll shoot this and see what happens okay let's use the 362 and we're going to shoot the thicker board to the right do you think it went through i don't think it went through all right oh look at that i hit damn near the same spot as the drifter and it didn't penetrate so that's the 362 huh okay so next up we've got the model 34 the rws model 34 and we're gonna shoot at the same pine board. Here we go. I don't think that one went through either. What do you bet? I watched a guy do a similar video and I thought he was shooting three quarter inch uh, regular wood. Yeah, see, there you go. And he was getting through with a 177 and I guess that's the issue with wood is, you know, it's, a natural thing and it isn't consistent and I'm not gonna get too carried away with any of that that's why I'm gonna use the lath because I think it's more realistic so this really didn't prove anything to us these three pellet guns couldn't penetrate this piece of wood so uh, I'm not shocked we're gonna take the lath we're gonna go out to that next marker which is 100 feet away okay so this to me is where things will get interesting I wouldn't, I wouldn't shoot a squirrel if, at 100 feet with this drifter, even if I had a scope. I just don't have a lot of, I don't think it's powerful enough. Okay, good. Got a hit. Let's see what it did. All right. There we go. Well... I don't see a pellet in there. I think the pellet bounced back out. 
so the drifter it's at its limits i wouldn't shoot anything further i wouldn't even shoot try like i say i wouldn't try to shoot a squirrel at 100 feet with a drifter anyway i just don't think it has the power so i'll mark that and then we'll go shoot uh the more powerful rifles okay. now at 100 feet with this 362 if i had a scope on it right now i feel it has the power to take out a squirrel from this distance although uh, i wouldn't really be excited to try it i think it's too far but we'll see if it penetrates the one of those lath here we go let's go see the damage all right it knocked it askew it punched a nice clean hole through it so that longer barrel bigger pumping chamber more power yeah did good so what i deduct is i know it could easily kill a squirrel at 50 feet it looks like it has plenty of capacity to do the same thing at 100 feet providing you can hit the squirrel um humanely to kill it okay now i've got the rws Aim towards the middle of the laughs. Let's say that one went through, which doesn't surprise me. Well, unfortunately, I nick the side. Did go completely through. I could shoot again, but I'm not going to because they're equivalent in power and a training. So we're just going to take this out to the next marker, which is 150 okay. feet away. Next up is the Crossman 362. That seemed like a pretty solid hit. And I kind of have my doubts that it penetrated. All right, where did I hit? Oh, it didn't. Look at that. There's nothing else here. Because those were from before. And I hit the side. Yeah, weird how that went in there, isn't it? Must be that round nose. So no penetration at 150 feet with the 362. Confirms my suspicions, but I, I will admit I'm, I don't know, I, I kind of thought I'd be wrong. All right, oh. let's do the Panther or the Model 34. And having the scope is for this distance is really, really nice. Okay, all right, let's see what we got here. Oh, how about that? It was the same frickin', nearly the same spot. And it did punch through. Huh, kinda sucks though. Cause somebody could say, well, it was the weekend, you know, which I'm inclined to think too. Hmm. I want to shoot that again. We're going to shoot it again. And I'm going to know to aim further up here. And hopefully I don't come into one of those. Let's try again. Well, look at that. That was great. Oh, well, did it. Wow, look at that. It punched right through. Interesting. I had to look up the specs of the the 362 and find out what uh, the difference is. But yeah, the the Model 34 was able to go right through there. I don't know that I'd want to shoot anything from that distance, but because I know offhand, I, I doubt I would hit it. That was from a rest, but huh, pretty cool. Kind of want to try one more with the 362. Let's see that. So I don't have a hidden agenda here wanting to, one gun to win over the other. I just, I don't know, that one, the way that pellet landed with the 362 was such a weird angle that I want a good solid hit. Let's see if I can get one. That sounded solid. Now I'm curious to see what the 362 did. Oh, are you serious? Well, that's actually good enough for me because <laughs> there's the pellet 
the 362 hit just below where the Model 34 did. It was already broken out and it still couldn't penetrate. So the 362 just doesn't carry as much energy downrange as the Model 34 does. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was interesting to me. Basically, I wanted to see how far these things were deadly to. I often end up shooting squirrels around here, usually around 50 feet. Um, and so I know that if it can go through there, one of those laths at 50 feet, you know, that kills a squirrel. And then at 100 feet it went through, well then it stands to reason it would kill a squirrel. And out to 150 feet it goes through, well it seems reasonable that you could expect that it would kill a squirrel out to 150 feet. <laughs> and the big difference is, could you hit it out to 150 feet? I doubt it. Especially shooting a Springer because... I've, I really like this gun, but there have been times I thought for sure I was accurate, and I'm like, I get misses. Like, what the hell happened? So, but anyway, so that was really, that was, I thought that was interesting. So you go from, you go, your, your range and cost, and actually that silly thing was more expensive than that one, but um, that definitely petered out. It, uh, I wouldn't shoot past 50 feet. 100 feet, that was, I wouldn't shoot past that. And then you go out to 150 feet with this one. But then it's, you're spending quite a bit more money to get up to here. So anyhow, it all depends on what you want to do, how you like to shoot, and how into it you are. So okay, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.